Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Another thing that we can insert into our PowerPoint presentations are charts. And you might be used to working with charts in an application like Excel. And the good news here is that you can basically use Excel charts in your PowerPoint presentations. And you can do this in a number of different ways. So in this lesson, we're going to explore all the different ways that you can add charts into your presentation to display metrics or values. Now again, notice since the last lesson, I've made a couple of changes to this presentation. I've added another divider slide. And again, I've simply duplicated the previous one, switched out the image, which you'll find in the course files folder and changed the text. I've then added another slide that just contains our background and I've changed the transparent text to sales. And I've also added a new heading. So now we're pretty much ready to insert our chart. Now, what I want to display in this chart are how we're doing against our main rivals in the travel industry. So I want to display a sales comparison over the last four years. Now, it might be that you have this data already available in an Excel spreadsheet, which makes it a lot simpler because you can simply copy and paste it in. Or you might want to build it from scratch within PowerPoint. So we're going to look at both of these options. Now to insert a chart, we need to go up to the insert tab. And in the illustrations group, we have a chart button. So let's click this. Now, once again, if you're used to using an application like Excel, then this is going to look really familiar to you. We have numerous different chart types. So this really depends what type of chart you want to insert into your PowerPoint presentation. It might be that you just want a very basic column chart. You might want a line chart, which is really good for comparing data over time. You might want a pie chart, even a donut chart, a bar chart, all different kinds of things. We even have map charts in here as well, which we're going to talk about in the next lesson. Now I want to display sales figures over time. So for this, the perfect chart to choose is the line chart. Now I have lots of different variations of this line chart above, and you can see in the preview window below what that's going to look like. Now I want a line chart with markers, so I'm going to use this one. Let's click on OK. And this is going to insert a basic line chart onto your slide. And you can see it opens up a mini Excel window. And this is basically where you come to modify the data so that it's relevant to what you're trying to display. Currently, we just have some dummy data in here, series one, two and three and categories one to four with some dummy numbers, just so you can get an idea as to what this is going to look like. So the idea here is simply to replace the values in this Excel spreadsheet and it's going to update the chart. Now you could do this manually. You can simply click and you can start to type in any of these cells. Or if you have the data already stored off in an Excel spreadsheet, you can simply copy and paste it in. Now I've already done this. I've got it in an Excel spreadsheet. Again, you'll find this in the course files folder. So let's take a quick look at it. So this is the spreadsheet here. It's a very basic spreadsheet. The title of the workbook is just sales comparison. And then we have four different travel companies, including our own. We have our years running in the column, and then we have the sales figures for each of those companies. So if you already have this information in an Excel spreadsheet, it's simply a case of copying it, control C, and then we can paste it into PowerPoint. So let's go back to PowerPoint. I'm going to click up here and I'm actually just going to delete all of this data out and I'm going to do control V to paste it in. Now it's just telling me that the data I'm trying to paste isn't the same size as this selection. That's fine. We'll click on OK. And then we just need to drag these selection areas out to include that last column. So now notice that as soon as I've done that, it's updated this chart. Now we need to do a little bit of formatting here because currently it's very hard to see the legend and it kind of blends into the background. Now, once you've updated your figures, you can simply close down this Excel worksheet. Now we're going to apply formatting to this in the next lesson because there are so many different ways that you can format charts. So this one isn't quite done. 
but I just want to show you a couple of other ways that you can work with charts in Excel. Now I'm very quickly going to duplicate this slide, control D, and just delete out the chart. Because another way that you could do this is go up to the insert tab, and in the text group, notice that the bottom icon just here called object will allow you to embed objects from other files. So if I was to click this, I could choose to insert an Excel chart from here. So if we click on OK, it's going to insert a chart in a slightly different way. Now this differs because we don't get that little Excel pop up, but we do get a sheet one over here. So once again, we could simply modify the data in here and it's going to update the chart. So if I control V to paste that data in and just delete out this data that I don't need and then go back to chart one, you can see that that's now updated with my data. Now, I think this is a slightly messier way of doing things, but it does make it really easy. If any changes need to be made, you can simply make them on this chart and it's going to update automatically. Now, if we go back to slide 17, where we have our line chart, if you need to make changes to this, so maybe we need to add some more figures for this year, or maybe we want to add another travel company or even change the existing figures, you can simply bring up that little Excel pop-up window again. And that's very simple. We just go up to the chart design ribbon and choose edit data. And that's going to pop open that little window and you can go in and make any changes that you need. So that's how you can insert an Excel chart. In the next lesson, we're going to completely reformat this and take a look at the numerous chart design and format options that we have. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.